This morning we are set to see U.S. markets opening lower, and right now European markets are also trading down. But we're awaiting some news on U.S. housing starts, and we turn now to Jonathan Brody, who's in the Deals London newsroom, and he has more. Jonathan? Yeah, good morning, John. Markets were sliding in Europe this morning as traders waited for the release of U.S. housing starts data and the minutes of the Federal Reserve's January meeting. But individual stocks moved sharply on big industrial news. The largest was French car producer Peugeot, which announced a deal with the French government and its long-standing Chinese partner this morning, the auto mark maker Dongfang Motor Group. The government and Dongfang will each inject about $1.1 billion into the company, and the car maker itself will raise additional cash from its existing shareholders and the market. The founding Peugeot family and other shareholders will be heavily diluted, so that the state, Dongfang and the family all end up with about 14%. The $4.1 billion fundraising is being touted as a win for all, and Peugeot was up over 9% in early trading. But it fell back later, although it was still up, but only by about 3.2% in late morning as the scale of the dilution began to filter through. In Britain, defence contractor BAE Systems opened up 4% on news that it has agreed pricing terms with Saudi Arabia for 72 Eurofighter Typhoon jets after two years of negotiation. But the pound took a knock. And the stock market slid back somewhat on the news that British unemployment, which has been falling rapidly for months, showed an unexpected uptick in the final quarter of 2013, rising 0.1% to 7.2%. That's all from Europe this morning. Back to you in New York. Thank you very much, Jonathan. This is Jonathan Brady reporting for the Deals London Newsroom.